guys. Yeah. Yes, here we are, the Jutham Chocolate Emporium in the Savory Feast Kitchen. My name is Professor Dr. Penelope Tabone Tinkatutsa. Hello there. My name is Jacques, a faithful companion since 10 years old. Tonight we're at Universal City Walk for the soft opening just opened today to some chocolate emporium and savory feast kitchen. We got it. We got all that. <laughs> savory feast kitchen is not twosomes. That's going to be my biggest pet peeve when everybody posts twosomes. It's not what it's called. Twosome chocolate emporium. So we're going to go in and try some food and uh, see what it's like inside. Delight your palate with fantastical fare including steak, seafoods, crepes, milkshakes, gourmet chocolates, and one-of-a-kind desserts at the new full-service restaurant and confectionery at Universal City Walk. Extraordinary foodstuffs await you at this enchanting 19th century steampunk-inspired dining establishment. The Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen officially opens January 27th but maybe open earlier for soft opening previews. As an appetizer, we got the Brussels sprouts and the spinach dip, and I'll read off what's in there exactly. Artichoke and um, artichoke, artichoke and craft. Oh. <laughs> These are good. Yes, it is delicious. Oh, it is so good. And we have other chocolate feast items on the way. Uh, yes, uh, chicken something. Like gnocchi. Wonderful. And then we had Brussels sprouts. Ooh, my favorite. And then the dip, and then we'll have dessert. We love dessert. <laughs> oh, yes, dessert is my favorite. Begin with dessert and end with dessert. Yes. That's a good idea. We call it a dessert sandwich. Uh, yes. Or just, standard. or just skip the meal and have the dessert. Yes, dessert. Two desserts. Oh, yes. Yes. Especially the milkshakes. Yes, those are good. Well, thank you, can you walk so much. Right in, get a milkshake, and walk right out. Yes. yes. It's very convenient. Chocolate yes. designed all of our milkshakes. I'm quite proud of them. And we have a whole team of bakers back there working to make everything absolutely perfect for you. Yes. Perfect. Well, we'll get a milkshake for sure. Good. Yes. Oh, thank you. might I suggest the yes. pineapple upside down milkshake? Oh. It's very easy on the tummy if oh. you can't do dairy. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. It has a whole slice of cake on top. And our host said the key lime also. She said oh, it's really key good. Lime is yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Awesome. There was one time we forgot the key lime. Oh, yes. Well, we forgot the lime. It was just keys. Oh, yes. Just we keys. ran into a lot of trouble with that key uh, milkshake. Very it's metallic. Hard on the tea. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Very metallic. I well, thought it tasted quite nice. <laughs> well, well, thank you. you oh, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yes. If you happen to need anything, please okay. let the proprietor, Penelope, Penelope, know if you have any suggestions. Okay, yes. thank you. We just met Penelope and Jacques, the proprietors here at Tusum. Very, very friendly. They'll stop, tell you their favorite menu items, and take a picture. Now, let's, back to this, uh, let's get back to this French onion soup. Mm. The crab and artichoke dip we just also had is a cheese blend with chipotle pepper, spinach over baked lavash. Very good, $15.95. And we also had the French onion soup, which was probably one of the best French onion soups I've had in a while. Cup was $7.95, bowl $11.95. I think we got the cup. Yeah. Very, very tasty. I got the chicken bursi, which is a boneless chicken breast, white wine, demi-glaze, lemon juice, shallots, butter, French herbs, asparagus, and baked gold mashed potatoes. Look at that. So this is the gnocchi. It's got grilled chicken, sweet peppers, rapini, I'm not sure what that is, and mole cream sauce, $22.95. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I really taste that lemon. This is delicious. Let me try one of these gnocchis. Mm. Oh yeah, it's in a mole sauce. It's pretty good. And sorry for the lighting, we're trying not to use any lighting in here to irritate everybody around us. <laughs> so it's a little grainy and a little dark, but we're trying to be polite. But this, both of these, I filmed this whole menu for you. <laughs> Between the lighting and not using any lighting and the pages that won't stay down and how huge this thing is, I hope you appreciate it. This milkshake is the espresso buzz. Look at this thing. For reference, this is the size. Look at this. I opted for this gigantic sundae. This is the May Contain Nuts. It's some kind of peanut butter pie, peanut butter ice cream, peanut brittle, peanut everything. Look at this. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. That peanut butter pie, no joke. Oh, it's peanut butter pie? <laughs> I was supposed to go to the, actually I did go to the oral surgeon today. They were supposed to cut my tongue. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> this was delicious, but this is as much as I can eat of this. <laughs> no human should eat this much. I recommend splitting it. I'm sure I'm glad you had a good time here yes. at the Emporium. We did. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Make Thank sure you. you come back and visit us again Oh, we will. We did will. you have a milkshake? I had a dessert. The uh, must contain, or may contain May contain nuts. nuts. May contain nuts. The, uh, did you find that it did in fact contain nuts? It had a lot of nuts. It oh, yes. Yeah, so it is nuts. most delightful. <laughs> yes, it was really good. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to visit us. Ta-ta. Thank you. Bye. You can come in for your sit-down meal or there is a counter over here where you can order all those desserts and shakes and there's a seating area. So if you don't want a full meal and just want some dessert, come on and order your shakes right here. This gift shop is crazy. There is their own brand of coffee. They've got truffles and chocolates and drinks and all sorts of candies, gifts, all steampunk theme, of course. I didn't agree with that. Yeah, that's good. Should we do that angle so we have the sign? That's not yeah. a very flattering angle, though, is it? <laughs> Nick is still working on his trying to finish it, but it's his so shake. much. <laughs> so we had so much food. We had two appetizers, we each had soup, each had an entree, each had a dessert. Everything was delicious. Yeah, wasn't everything it? was yes. so good. The official opening is January 27th, but they're open now. They did not have their alcohol menu yet because their liquor license isn't in, but I don't even know where we would have put that. So it was absolutely delicious. That is Toothsome chocolate emporium and feast. savory feast kitchen savory feast kitchen here at city walk the old hard rock location right across from universal cinema and the huge city walk sign for reference so there you go and we're standing right in front of the menu so nobody can see it so let's get out of the way so if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on and follow us on social media so we get, we're gonna go walk over to the park because we need to burn some of this off now <laughs> 
So they do have indoor and outdoor seating, plenty of both. It is multi-level with the gift shop. You do not need to be eating to go into the gift shop. And they also have the dessert counter. So you can just go in there and grab a dessert and not have a full meal if you want to do that. So multiple options at Toothsome. And as if the dinner couldn't be any better, look at this parking space we got. Look at this. There's the elevator to Tucson, or the escalator to Tucson. Here's the car. <laughs> it's like those forces said, you know what? Go to Tucson tonight, get a good spot to park. Jacques landed the dirigible in front of the small cottage home in London, England. Professor Dr. Penelope Thibault Tinker Tusum was overjoyed to share her experiences and experiments with her family. She quickly stepped away from the cockpit of the airship and dashed up the cobble pathway. She threw open the front door, soaking in her child at home. Except it was empty. All that remained was the old Victrola in the corner of the living room. Penelope stepped into her mother's kitchen, recalling the first time she ever tasted chocolate. There was a song in her head. She couldn't recall the name of it, but it was French and jazzy. There on the kitchen floor was a note from her parents. Dearest Penelope, we have set out to join you in your adventure. Surely the world isn't so big that we can't find you. We shall look for you wherever chocolate can be found. Love, Thomas and Violet Tusum. Penelope knew immediately what she had to do. She would have to take everything she knew about chocolate and develop fully industrialized, state-of-the-art chocolate emporium. Until the day she was reunited with her family, she would share her love and knowledge of chocolate with the world. With the old Victrola in her arms, Penelope made her way back to the dirigible. Jock quickly lifted them into the air, and they were off to chase her destiny and find a perfect location for the world's foremost chocolate emporium. There would still be discoveries to be made, but she was determined to make them all. That is the story of Professor Dr. Penelope Thibault Tinker Tusa, or at least so I've been told.